Hey, what's up guys? So we have something a little bit different today. Those of you who normally uh, come to me for uh, Red Wing Boots, we have a little, something a little bit different. We're going to talk about uh, the Stetson Open Road today. Those of you who are here for the Stetson Open Road, I normally talk about Red Wing Boots. Um, okay, so today I'm wearing a uh, Stratliner um, in the what they call a natural. Uh, this is a Fedora, which probably gets the most time on my head. And then I'm going to do a, a box opening of the um, 1865 Distressed Open Road. Um, so I recently posted something with, it's a navy open road with a, um, a white um, hat band. Now this one, uh, initially I wanted the fedora in this Distressed. So when you buy a um, Stetson, you'll get it in a box, in a box. So this is, I usually keep them in the hat box. Uh, just to keep them safe and don't want them to get crushed. So it will come in something like this. And then on the sides, you have a little opening here. And then it comes in upside down and in a bag. And then they also put like a blue um, uh, foam around here, but I took that and discarded that. So here is the 1865 Distressed Open Road. And this is in... Um, Sage, what they call sage. I know the feather got a little funky. So this, um, I really like this color. So I, I was, when I was purchased this one, I was thinking, oh, deciding between this and and this sage, and I went with natural because I felt like natural I can wear maybe a little bit more, a little bit more versatile. Um, and then you know I just kind of got the bug and started buying a couple others, <laughs> obviously. Um, so this one uh, they call, it's the 1865 Distressed Open Road. And the difference between the one I'm wearing, which is a, a traditional fedora, and the open road is um, this has a cattleman, what they call a cattleman crease. And basically it's like the traditional, what you would call traditional cowboy hat with a fedora brim. Um, and we have some, what I really like about this is, um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of a feather on a hat band. But I think it kind of works with here. But the one thing I really like, and I'll show you, is they have like a little revolver. See if we can get that in focus. That revolver right there is just really cool. I love that. And you can see on the band how it has like a little bit of distressing on it. And so we'll just, we could just go quickly through. Uh, we have the traditional um, cattleman crease. This is called the crown. And then you have a... Um, a bound edge on the, your uh, hat here. That's what they call this. And then inside we have a leather sweatband, the back ribbon, and then the lining on the hat. And then this is um, what Stetson calls a six time um, quality fur felt. So this is a um, quite uh, good quality hat and you can uh, see like the nice quality. It's a pretty sturdy, sturdy hat. And um, I've been wearing this hat pretty much all morning. So I definitely have hat hair, as you could probably see. <laughs> so most important, let's try this bad boy on to see how it looks. You can check it out, see how the open road looks. The left side, right there. And then you, you know, you can, you know, bring the brim down over your wear it like that or you can you know pop it up however you'd like to wear it but I think I think the color works really really well I was very happy with the uh, the sage color and um, I I'm gonna try and see if I can find the fedora version of the 1865 distressed but um, it's very difficult they've pretty much sold out so I'm gonna have to maybe find um, second market or maybe somewhere else um, somewhere uh, local here in, in uh, New York City um, because on Stetson's well the cert sizes are gone and color the colors are something that I'm not really into but I think this is cool I think for um, this is the second open road that I that I own I think honestly I think the this fedora is a little bit easier to wear on a day-to-day but um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of use out of this one. 
but this is cool and I, I love the the quality is just fantastic and the most important and the best part is they're made in the USA they're made in Garland Texas which is really cool um, so yeah I, I can't wait to like wear this go I actually like go somewhere and wear wear it properly maybe like on a horse or something <laughs> so that there you have it the 1865 distressed open road in Sage.